Hello ladies, gentlemen, and honourable warriors. Mario the Pie Man here for some more Star Trek Online. Uh, you join me once again in the Klingon campaign with uh, our very honourable warrior Mittens, the Farassian cat person. Um, now for those who weren't following last time or perhaps don't remember, um, we'd uh, had to take over our ship, the Tiddles, um, because the captain was a dishonourable um, type of chap and had uh, had been dealing with a Federation ship to hand back a captured intelligence agent who we then brought to Kronos only for him to escape and we're now following, following on to Boreth. Boreth for those um, of the Star Trek inclination and if you weren't hi, I'm glad you're here, I'm not quite sure why. Um, but uh, he took, he went to Boreth uh, in order, which if you know was um, uh, um, that's a kind of Klingon monastery now um, I think it's Boreth. yeah that's the monastery so uh, this actually got rejigged recently um, the uh, Klingon kind of uh, campaign had uh, a lot of the parts redone and uh, dolled up a little, and Boreth was one of the maps that did. Um, I have played through this before, but it was on the last recruitment event, so uh, I don't actually remember entirely all the changes. Um, I actually thought we were for going to either Rurapenthe or um, uh, Frocus 3, which is a Batleth competition place, but uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to be as surprised as you all are. Or Possibly unsurprised, it might all come back to me. As I've said in other characters, you've seen me go through early days not having the um, trans warp to get through space is quite annoying. But this is where we are, we are space chasing. I'm actually going to configure the weapons, let's put a bit more power into the weapons. We are, after all, a Klingon, although we are an engineer, but still. So flying to Boreth. Home of the Time Monks turned up in an episode of Discovery. So. so yeah, probably shouldn't have cut the last mission short. We are technically still on the same mission, but ah, uh, let's take it from here. Captain, the warp trail ends here. What are your orders? Uh, let's go for put out a wide band hail on all channels. I want him to know who he's dealing with. Opening hailing frequencies. If he's out there. He'll hear it. And soon he'll know the folly of defying the Klingon Empire. Captain, I recommend modifying the navigational beacons in this system to amplify our efforts in locating the prison. Okay. Let's, let's do that thing. So yes, yeah, so we'll just be going up to these little satellites. Sorry, navigational beacons. Does it make me do a thing? Although they do actually move. They have used these for a number of things, this kind of um, beacon modify. Prop. Nothing yet. We should modify another beacon. That's a good idea. That plan didn't work once. Let's also have it not work a second time. I like the way you think. Establishing a communication link now. You? Me? I am impressed. Thank you. I thought Doran was the right choice for command, but apparently even I can be wrong. Yes, you can. The KDF will do well with you in their ranks. You have the tenacity of a rabid tar. Well, cut the flattery. Cut your engines, because you're going back to Kronos with me, you little rascal. As much as I might deserve to rot in a Klingon jail you do? cell and be interrogated to within an inch of my life on a daily basis. I have unfinished. Business. So do I, it's finding you. It's time I was going. I'll follow you to Earth itself if that's what it takes. I don't doubt that you would. However, I always have an escape plan. I've planted a tiny subroutine in all Starfleet computers. If a vessel arrives in the Boreth system, 
Their sensors will pick up distress beacons from dozens of destroyed Starfleet stars. How would they be in a system in the middle of in Klingon addition, space? When we started this I have questions. I sent out a few false maydays from these phantom vessels. <laughs> Ships are already respawned. In deepest, darkest Klingon space. You've proven yourself to be a skilled warrior already. So I'm sure you know that Kayla said it was acceptable to lose a battle to save an empire. Or a ship. I suggest you leave before Starfleet arrives. Captain, you're being hailed by one of the Starfleet vessels. Oh, well, this should be interesting. They're on screen. Cling on, bird of prey. Power down your weapons and shields. No, and you're right in the middle of Klingon space. I don't think I will. That day will never come, Vulcan. Not as long as I draw breath. Our are detecting several Federation distress beacons in this area. This trap is obviously your handiwork. Surrender now, or we will be forced to open fire. So much for the famous Vulcan intellect. Check your sensors again. The beacons are as plain as... Curious. They are no longer trapped. Yeah. Engineering. Run a level 3 diagnostic on the sensors. You've been deceived by one of your own, Vulcan. I extend my apologies. Yeah. We did not intend to violate Klingon space. You blimmin' we did. Will be now, if you will allow it. I will not. You'll pay for your insults with your life. Try to die well. Yeah, you thought I was going to go for the not attacking. Um, I was thinking of it, but... Ah, come on. They've come into the middle of Klingon space. I really shouldn't take that, considering we're at war. Oh, is that the Cheyenne class there? I love the kit that popped up in an episode in Space Nine. It's one of the options if you take a Federation character, you can kind of swap the cells and stuff around, and that's one of the. Good grief. That one's a bit bigger. No, you're not. Now, you might be wondering why I'm cloaking before I attack. I may not have explained this before. You actually get an attack bonus for attacking out of cloak. It gives you kind of a better look, hopefully. Right I, hit. I, got, I got more of a critical hit there. Now, I will also explain another thing. Which will part of the thing on recruitment. Oh no, they've got me in a track. This is the downside of early game is I really wish they wouldn't throw you up against you know, a Concord class as a kind of heavy cruiser kind of thing and I'm in a bird of prey and yet I managed to take it out with a pot shield. Apparently all of them. I wonder if, if I'd let them go, would I not have to do this? Or would I have just been explaining to every single ship that's here, no, you're in the wrong place? It is unfortunate that the prisoner has eluded your search. Well, there you go. You did uncover a Federation spy nest in the heart of First City. Yep. We've deciphered their infiltration techniques and are cracking down on their spy network within the Empire. One of my prison guards was impressed with your tenacity and asked 
to be reassigned to your crew, you would be wise to accept it. Okay. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Now, you might notice that's what this Gorn looks like. He looks more reptilian. They based initially the Gorn on the Enterprise um, model and then uh, decided to also include something that looks more like they appeared in TOS. So it's quite neat that you have that option. We have identified the Federation prisoner you've been chasing. His name is Franklin Drake. Some of our sources say he's a Starfleet intelligence agent. But there are hints that he's much more. He's also a brilliant chef. From what I can tell, he's not part of the normal chain of command. Previously, we didn't have any images or genetic samples from him, which is why he was so hard to identify. Now, we'll be on him the second he shows his face again. We already have a lead for you to follow. Records indicate a Klingon shuttle entered space above the Rura Penthe penal colony. That system is restricted, and there was no traffic scheduled for today. You are authorized by the High Council to approach the system and determine if Drake is there. Bring him back alive, if you can. So, this is, I think, what I was thinking. Now, normally I would stop here and say, well, that's enough for today, but since I cut you short last time on this, um, we will actually um, go and do this next, the Manhunt mission. Um, but for the moment, well, yeah, for the moment, I think we will do a jump cut and I will fiddle about with things like the levelling up and re-equipping the ship. Um, so I will see you after the jump cut. Okay, I'm actually going to... Uh, we're not there yet. Um, I do apologise if you're asking are we nearly there yet. I thought I would demonstrate something. This is part of the Klingon recruit. Remember we got that transceiver. Well... What that does is it gives a number of tasks to complete, similar thing to the Delta Recruit, only um, a bit different. So, for example, we have this one, uh, Thirst for Battle, so that's just reached level 50. And then there are also ones about different uh, aspects later on. We have this one, Warrior's Blood, we've not done any of that yet, but defeat your enemies on the ground with a melee weapon or your bare hands. Um, so we have to achieve a melee kill before that. And here's one that we've already done, Hunter's Instinct, killing a blow against a foe, damage during the ambush effect of your cloaking. So I can actually claim here already and I claim a starship trait. Now that's going to be useful. I'll look at that in a minute. We also have this for doing Endeavour missions. These are, we will get, um, notice this it comes up in this episode actually, you can see we're and enemies that have an empire is identified who we have to chase. And again, there is also a things for doing duty officer stuff, um, random cues, and finishing these. They all give you bonuses, which is quite handy. You can actually see we've got a couple of training manuals there. Now, if I go into and I don't, I don't know because I may not have recorded the videos yet. I don't know if I've done videos in this. But one of the things with ships is ships have traits. Well, the character's traits, rather. Um, and some of these come from reputations, which we won't talk about at the moment. But one of the things... Oh, we don't have a space for it. When these unlock at level 50, we will be able to attach traits to the starship. One of them will be that one that earned in this mission. So it's quite useful. Uh, again, a quick jump cut to the next the continuing mission. And so here we are approaching Rura Penthe. Now uh, if you don't know it, it appeared in Star Trek 6. In fact you might want to know about Rura Penthe. There is no stockade. Only a barrier prevents beaming in. Um, if you misbehave you're exiled to the surface. On the surface nothing can live. It's not an exact quote but I have seen Star Trek 6 rather too many times. When I say rather too many times, I mean exactly as many times, which is as many as you damn well like. It's a very good film and I thoroughly recommend it.
still not work well and will hopefully be treated well. Work badly and we will die. Hi. Do not have I blame him do. Turn back now. The attempt to violate our security perimeter will be met with force. Our authorization comes from Chancellor Jimpak himself. It is unwise to stand in the way of his representatives. Unless those look course, drawn on. I like don't like criticizing the game graphic is ten years old, but my apologies. Well, that sounds sincere. I am honored to meet you. What do representatives of the High Council seek at Rura Pit? We're looking for a Federation fugitive. He's fleeing from fickling on for justice. There are no Federation court on Rura Pit. Well, we wanted a fugitive, not a court. Aware, enemies of the Empire should be killed, not fed and coddled like infants. It appears the spy is as good at getting into prisons as he is at escaping. Well, they're not built for stopping people getting in. Warden, he is here, somewhere. Our security logs are checked every quarter hour as per regulation. There have been no transfers in or out of the colony within the last day. Only two ships have entered the system today. Oh, good. Yours at the Klingon shuttle. That's the one. Shuttle left the system hours ago. You are still here. We know. We're us. Your arrogance is tiresome, Warden. I'm glad you're Produce talking your here. Sensor logs at once. Our logs clearly indicate the shuttle left the system hours ago. There have been no transfers. All prisoners in this colony are either accounted for or dead. Your trail has gone cold. Now well, that's enough of that. We'll beam down and look at the logs in person. Ready to beam down on your command, Captain. There is a magnetic field covering the entire penal colony to prevent prisoners from escaping via transport. Yes, I we'll said. We'll have to beam down to the outskirts of the magnetic field and walk to the entrance. Okay. Let's go then. Uh, I think I'll actually take... Oh, apparently. I can't switch. Yeah, fair enough then. Oh, probably because it's voiced. Didn't think of that. Oh, where do you think you are going? I have business with the warden. You may have crossed the magnetic shield, but your visit is unannounced, and you will follow protocol. Will I? No one simply wanders around this prison. I will escort you to the warden. I'll lead on. Guard. You will follow me. <laughs> Sorry, trying to do bits of the Star Trek 6 soundtrack badly. I like the fact that they have actually. I don't know. It's warden, usually they. The visitors are here. I can see them, Roka. Your presence here is unnecessary. Well, there you go. The only Federation citizens on Rura Pint are frozen into the ice. But don't let me dissuade you from your man hunt. Order the guards to search. The guards will stay where they are. Oh, God, you're one of them. If there was a breach, it would have tripped the alarms. Our security system is quite advanced. This is a prison after all. Yeah, Kirk got out of it. And McCoy. And David Bowie's wife. You refuse to accept the word of the prison warden. Well, Drake's here, so we'll find him. You dare to question the honor of a warrior of the House of Tor? I do. You may be representatives of Jembach, but you'll taste my blade if you insult me again. Is it made of jam? No, mate. Go, see for yourself. Only find the paddock dumped here to rot. Well, your incompetence will speak for itself. Follow me to the general holding area. Yeah, see, he's actually in. For, I suppose it could be that being furry already, I don't need it. Uh, normally, they actually add cold weather stuff to your character. It's quite neat. Thought I should follow. Right, notice I've equipped the batleth. I'm expecting trouble. 
and I'm trying to clock up the melee kills. Melee, Take melee. Okay, doggo! Doggo! Wait, hang on, I'm a cat. This is probably not a good idea. Oh, I've got to drop the field myself. Give me access to the prisoner area. Interrogate the prisoners, Captain. There is a priority target in the area. Stay alert. We need more alerts. So I've got to find prisoners and question them. Uh, I mean, the set in Star Trek 6 wasn't exactly expansive, but I think we've done a fairly good job of trying to recreate at least the look and feel. It also did turn up in Enterprise, so they may be going for that a little as well. Target acquired. Subject is guilty of treason. Termination authorized. The bat left is a bit janky to use, is the problem. You sometimes get these points where it just doesn't. Hey, so that's us. If I look at this, we have a warrior's blood, which gives us the backlight of Stovacor. And also, that has given us our first of these, which gives us a little reward. We'll look at those after this mission. Oh, well, there you go, actually. Some weapons, but we'll look at those after this mission. So let's go. Now where's. Where's our escort? Oh, it's taking us here, so we are off to looking for people to question. Let's have a chat with this lad. Where's the human? Else. Okay, I will. Where's the human? We got nothing to talk about. Okay, let's go here. Where's the human? Are they going to retry my case? No. You can see we've got lots. Where's the human? <laughs> They're good eating. Possibly. Where's the human? Don't talk to me. I just did. I believe someone is following you, Captain. Turn around. Yeah. Why are you following me? None of these prisoners will help you. They can sense danger far better than you can. And they know the risks of getting involved in a fight that's not theirs. Well, how do you know this? Because I'm not a patak like the warden and his cousin. Have you asked yourself, why would a human come to Rora Pente? Active theatre community, or he's after someone. The human is here to extract a prisoner. There are no other alternatives. If he was coming to kill someone, then he's a call. All he needed to do was wait. Everyone said to this whole dark. It is known throughout the galaxy as the alien's graveyard. You seem well informed for a prisoner. Are you questioning my honor? Probably. If you think you're safe because you hold a weapon, you're mistaken. The only thing standing between you and a cold grave is my patience. Well, bold words for a prisoner. Someday I'll teach you a lesson for testing my resolve. I've got a doggo. The human is here, but it is a complicated situation. You must do exactly as I say. We are surrounded by enemies, and you will need my help to survive. Oh, why should I trust a criminal? The only crime I've committed was thinking there could be peace between the great Oh, well, that's quite a heinous and crime. all you need to know is that I am a Klingon warrior with the information you need. Fair enough. Follow me, and I will take you to the one the prisoners call the Word. Show me where he is. The Word is over by the mine entrance. <laughs> Hi, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. I'm in front of you. I'm right behind you. I'm annoying you yet. I'm annoying you yet. Guessing this is the worm. Oh, wait, there's Drake. Hey. There you are. I was wondering if I'd lost you. You're a fool. Don't try to play coy with us. You have the subterfuge skills of yeah, a You are just wearing the cheap hood thing. No one here would notice a new prisoner, or that no one would notice when you tampered with the air exchangers. 
What are you after, Drake? I see you found a new friend. Look, if I had the time to explain, I would. But I'm on a tight schedule, and you took the time getting here. If you want to know what's really going on, you'll have to ask a new friend. Okay. I need to be going. Wait, what? Follow him! He's running for the surf! Hey! Well, they're all attacking me at the moment. Let's do the optional objectives of quelling prisoners. You leave Chagrin alone, he's still mourning his wife. Wow, I hit that guy hard. What a tiny bloke. How hard can I hit? As it turns out I'm really dangerous. Hitting people so hard they literally vaporize. The upshot is you don't have to worry about um, not like uh, you know losing the prisoner. You don't. You know there isn't like a you took too long to catch him and now he's escaped. You have to redo everything again. That doesn't happen in Star Trek Online, and it's the better for it. I'm sure there's a hard setting somewhere. Now, one of the things with the bat left is you might notice that if you press slightly different combinations you occasionally get different weird moves. I don't watch my health actually. So I reckon he was the one doing me a lot of the damage. I have a bad habit of not using the hypo sprays because I always think I'm going to run out even though they are as common as fleas. This is an event, but for some reason it has been doing these little dilithium drops, which are quite handy. Dilithium is well, I'm sure I've covered this already. Oh, that was lucky. I'm glad I had the doggo and chagrin with me. Come on, let's go. There's more of them. Do, I wish they didn't. I just think it's quite funny that you end up hitting someone so hard they dissolve. Yeah, Worf might be good with the bat left, but has he ever hit someone so hard they vaporized? I don't think so. Let's keep going. Tunnel in the ice. Oh, a tough prisoner. I'm not that tough. These are the armed prisoners, so. And someone has been going through the alien crater quite extensively. Quelling, I like quelling. I might have to switch to a gun because at the moment the downside of these prisoners being armed is that they do try to stay out your way. Shooting. 
Oh, one of them's got stuck in the wall. Hang on. This happens occasionally. It probably means we can't 100% this, sadly. I'll leave him. He's not worth it. He's sitting in a wall. Sometimes you'll find they'll unspawn from the wall. But at the moment, let's go before he kills Chagrin. Chagrin! Oh, there. It's for hiding in the wall. Come on, back you come. Where's my doggo? Oh, I just say there's a prisoner still. I guess that's where my dog goes, as I'm dealing with the prisoner. Good boy. There's a lot of these icy tunnels. The good thing is we roughly know how many people we still have to take out. And there we go. Prison riot has been quelled. Thanks for waiting. We have to stop him. Okay. The worm has slithered to the surface. We need to stop him before oh, yes, we reach the end of the magnetic shield. I promise that I'll explain <laughs> we can go once we track him down. Right, let's go to the surface then. What now? Oh, he's got the a name. Kim Toy. Across the ice. We need to hurry before he gets outside the magnetic shield. He's got a shuttle. In that case, we don't have any time to waste. It will be difficult to track his movements in this flurry. We can use the jackal to track him. Right, come on, go, on. go, go get him. Actually, follow the jackal, I suppose, not run ahead of it. Nope. Just come this way. Those were wild jackals. Keep a lookout for more. They travel in packs. How can they survive on the surface? Jumpers. They must be on the corpses of dead prisoners. That jackal master was full of lithium. Weird. Kemta, you said you would explain why you were thrown into Rura Pente. I am a diplomat. My peaceful words were called treason. Were they treasonous? How can there be peace? We are at war! Yes, but 
then the war ends and you have peace. You clearly never read the works of Chancellor Gorkon. Ooh, we're all in a big Star Trek 6 fest here. Yeah, that. Go with that. The words of a warrior. Still, killing one another for honor blinds us to greater threats. Well, this is philosophical. I'm freezing my funny butt off here, but yeah, fair enough. Have your philosophical discussion. Wait, there's a thing on the map there. Aha! That's a shuttle. There he is! There he is! Impressive. Your determination is commendable. You can't escape, Drake. There's more at stake here than dealing with a lone human on a mission of mercy. In fact, our intelligence says you have very little time left to act. What are you talking about? Our friend here discovered that one of the great houses is plotting against the Empire. He's correct, but his curiosity cost him. Now you and I, <gasps> Revelation, will both have a chance. son, Kemtar, your father still has friends in the Federation. They believe he's in great danger. I recommend a trip to the Vor system. There, you'll find out just how big of a mess you're in, and find the proof that Worf will. Want. Kemtar, how do you know this guy? I don't. He and I have never met. But as I told you, the story is complicated. What you need to know is that he speaks the truth. There is a plot against the Empire, and it is not the Federation. Well, I've only just met you, but okay. Our true enemies are closer than we realize. If we want to protect our people, we must go to the Vor system and see what is there. Why should I trust either of you? I don't care if you trust me. Kemtar, tell your father that obligations have been met. Only you can decide how you'll deal with the greater threat. The greater threat? What's this greater threat? The only threat you should be worried about is me. Oh, hi, Rogas. You followed us. That's so nice. You're a miserable carrot. Not only have the you carrot? the penal colony protocol, but you've meddled in the affairs of House Tor. I don't care if Keltar is innocent. We were paid a great deal of latinum to keep this piece of muck talk locked up. He's not leaving here, and neither are you. You're a corrupt Forshack. That's my cue to exit. Good luck. Your shield, see? Oh, that's probably not going to be good. You must have a ship in order. Mm -hmm. We should beam up as soon as possible and discuss what is happening. Yep, tiddles, do you read me? We read you, Captain. Hi. What are your orders? We're ready to get out of here any time you are. Beam us up. We can't get a lock on your position, Captain. <sighs> you must still be within range of the magnetic field. Try again. Not what I wanted to hear. We will bring the ship down to the surface to pick you up, Captain. That's good. Good idea. We might need more warriors. If we head for higher ground, it yeah. will be easier for your ship to locate. Having the high ground's always good. Mission objective waypoint. Show up. I have the high ground Anakin. Look up ahead. The warden and the guards are approaching. Oop. You dishonorable dog! 
Cat. Cat person. How much were you paid to hold an innocent man? Enough to keep us warm long after your death. All right. We well, fuel prices are going up. So before I kill you, I'll offer you the coward's choice of surrender. I think you're forgetting something. What am I forgetting, Tocha? Say hello to my little starship. Now, Thrak. <laughs> Ba 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 Okay, that was a bit of overkill, but yeah, good stuff. It is quite neat. One of the reasons why you don't you will get a different ship. But one of the reasons why you don't get there is uh because otherwise it would look weird. Miserable place, Captain. In many ways, I think Rorapente is worse than Grathor itself. Well, never know, we might find out. Drake said we should go to the Boar system. What would we possibly find? I don't know. Whatever is there, it is a threat to the Klingon Empire. We must find evidence to show the Council. Yeah, agreed. Transporter room is standing by, Captain. You've got a hot We're chocolate. Ready to bring you aboard at your command. Yeah, well done. Bring us up. That is quite a cool scene, I like the way they've done that. Yeah, let's talk to Gaza. Your report on Warden Kratak and the prison riot was disturbing. I have transferred many prisoners to Urapenthe, and this is the first I've heard of corruption. As you know, the Empire does not tolerate fraud or dishonesty. I accept your resolution to the matter, but I am displeased that you did not apprehend Drake. Well, I can't do everything for you. The freed Kimtar also requires scrutiny. But maybe. If Kimtar were not Ambassador Worf's son, I would demand that you return him to First City at once. However, if you believe there's evidence of further corruption, you have my authorization to pursue this matter discreetly. By discreetly, do you mean like with all guns blazing and really loudly? Because that's what I'm going with. And look, we got a jackal mastiff now. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Just waiting for the next mission to pop up. During my time as ambassador. I uncovered evidence that one of the great houses has been corrupted by a foreign influence and is plotting against the Empire. I was thrown into Ura that wasn't written there. as punishment for digging too close to the truth. The fugitive Drake suggested that we travel hmm. to the Vor system. We hope to find evidence that will prove there is an internal threat to the oh, Empire. That's quite different to what's written. <laughs> okay, except. Actually not far away from where we are. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little foray into the world of Klingons. And we'll be back to play through this so you get to see the whole Klingon campaign at various points um, whenever this actually gets released. I don't know when it's going to be released. It's probably quite a distance after it's been recorded. But there we are. Um, so like I say, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to talk to me, you can either do it in the comments or at, at Pyman70. That's the capital P, capital M, and the number 70. And, uh, yep, I would love to hear from you. Nice to know people are out there. Um, so, up until the next time, when we either return for this or back to something else on the channel, I will say bye for now.